as I often say, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. OMG. And I'm sitting here, as you can see, at the tiny home, Cozy Nest Cottage. Sitting here on the porch, one of my favorite places to be. It's actually become a routine every morning that I come out here with a cup of coffee, do a little devotional. Right now I'm in to live as Christ day by day. Any of you ever read this? I just read one a day. It's just like two minutes. Get my mind right and uh, sit out here and hope to hear from God and talk to God. And, and then I go on my walk, um, doing about three miles a day on most days. And that was the plan this AM. And then it just came across me that it is such a beautiful day to tackle another project. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. No makeup for this video. I don't put makeup on when I go walk. I didn't wear makeup all summer at my seasonal job in Michigan either. So that was okay. Um, I put makeup on when I go to church <laughs> or when I'm visiting somebody. Um, yeah, so I decided I am gonna tackle a big project today, guys. Hope you'll join me. Been to hear Serene and Simple Life at the Cozy Nest Cottage. Been here a couple weeks now. Uh, my landing zone. Already made a countdown calendar to go to when I'm going to Arizona, which is awesome. Um, I don't know if it was the last video or the one before, but I told you I ordered a shed. Well, now we're getting uh, very close to them delivering that shed. Actually, there's probably not much of a time lapse between the two videos, but when I did that video, they were six weeks out. And of course, I <clears throat> posted it. Um, I posted it close to the time now of delivery, if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, usually I'm, I'm doing videos, I don't know, four to six weeks out, but just ignore the timing. It doesn't really matter in the bigger scheme of things. Um, the shed is going to be delivered soon and I have to unload the baby shed so they can put the new shed in place. And I thought it would be good to do it sooner rather than later. I'm moving the shed before the driveway. So here is this beautiful day that I've been talking about or that I talk about often. Temperatures are probably gonna go up to 80 today right now. It's, I guess, maybe 70. And this is going to be the space where I start to unload. And this is gonna, so this door will be not, will not be accessible. I'm gonna pack things all the way into the corner here. Um, I did move the table outside. There is a video to come here shortly, if it hasn't already. A new open house of how I've rearranged things. I think you're going to really like it. But in the time, in the meantime, I'm going to make a little walkway here. I've got to move this little shelf out of the way. I usually store my tennis shoes on there. It's just, it's in the way. It's not really in, uh, something I need. And I'm gonna turn the rocker in facing um, sideways against the wall. And then I'll have a straight shot to just unload things. Out here is what this I'm talking about. Before the landscaping, cause I'm getting ahead of the game here um, in doing this Shed project. Four by six. It is packed to the brim. Almost don't even want to show you because I don't want the negative comments. This is an organized mess here. You can see loaded to the top. And I think these are a couple containers back here that I will uh, gently remove that tarp and hope that I don't find a snake, right? <laughs> Anyways, here you have it. And I have my markers here for where the shed's going to go, so obviously this needs to get out of the way. 
But if thinking. I move the shed, then the asphalt millings can come all the way back here towards the gutter here, and it won't be in the way for them to stop prematurely. Guys, look at this. I haven't shown you this. Is this crazy or what? Or maybe I did show you already. This happened while I was gone. And remember, for those of you who are not new, that there's been a lot of stuff that was buried when they collapsed a mobile home here. This property already had septic water and electric on it. Beautiful. The mobile home was gone, but they collapsed it. Then when they moved it, put everything in dumpsters, you know, stuff got left behind and buried. So this has not gotten any bigger. It stayed the same size. I'm sure that this is just rain wash. I've asked a couple landscapers, so we're gonna repack it, refill it. I don't know. Uh, someone tried to pull those wires out and they're just go, go into the abyss. So I don't know how far out they run, but uh, we can get those cut maybe. And so, all right, let's talk more action here. I'm gonna guess four hours to unload this and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, here it is. Storage at its finest, but not accessible to anything. <laughs> Except like maybe a couple wood pieces here. I took with me to Michigan and never used them. I'm gonna be uh, doing a very cool project with those. You'll have to stay tuned. <sighs> say it, display it, guys. How many of you have ordered Say It, Display It? You know, it makes a fabulous gift for somebody. Or for yourself. Fuel your day, fuel your month with positive inspiration. 30 unique cards in a deck. Messages designed to inspire, encourage, and empower. What can I tell you? All designed by moi. Go all the way down here with product. I may do a couple shows this holiday season, so I need to get everything out of here anyways to have access to it. This is, will I use these or not? I was going to spray paint them and put a plant on them. I don't know. It's going to be interesting today to find everything that's in here. See, I've got wood in here left over from the, from the build. And obviously some of it's getting ruined and moldy, so that's not good. And uh, this is the worst right here. As it goes towards the back, it's just a lot of tubs that are stacked to the ceiling. All right, I'm not gonna show you until maybe I'm halfway through. And I've already shown you this before as it was going in, I think. <laughs> So I don't know that I'll show you every little thing. I'll just maybe give you one little clip of this. It's just product, holiday, no clothes in here, and wood of projects that I want to do. I want to make inspirational plaques. So it's nothing junky, nothing major. This is only a four by six. Put in the comments, is your whole life in a 400 square foot home? And in a four by six shed, are you even less than that? If you're more than that, there's no need to uh, criticize, right? So here's my walkway. Pretty snazzy, huh? That's the walkway. That's gonna be the new shed area right in the corner there to go through all over again. And I just pulled out the first two pieces and I'm tired already. <laughs> this is a board I thought maybe somebody could cut into like a sink top for me. I have no idea. That may go bye-byes. And these I picked up in a cabin this summer. Somebody left behind. Solar steak. I was thinking they were like steaks to roast hot dogs and marshmallows, you know? You never know, maybe one of these days I'll get a little fire pit out there to the RV spot. Yep, RV spot's gonna come to life here very shortly. It's a window. 
I just pulled out these storage containers. Still figuring out where I'm going to use these in my pantry. And there's about, what, quarter inch of water here. So if that's all the water that ended up in here, right in the front, that'll be good. Hopefully no more surprises. In space, as I showed you before, for all the tubs and totes, stuff I'm gonna go through right here. It's really display stuff. This is just loosey-goosey. Like this is a good table that I used as a nomad and it just needs to be re-glued. You know, it's just randoms. Will I ever get to it? I'm either gonna get to it or give it away. All my plaques, loosey-goosey. Just, you know, stuff that was, used to use these for crafts, sold these with the display cards in case you wanna mount them individually. There's an idea for you for the Say It, Display It. You just put them on your fridge, use these, or on a metal fridge or, and then a couple purses that are leather that I no longer use that I should make a decision on. <laughs> and then let me show you. About an hour later now, I'm feeling really excited. I'm not moving at any quick pace here. I'm back to the second row, which is the last row. This is all holiday right here is all the keepsake wood boxes. At one time, I probably had 500. I'm probably down to a couple hundred now, if that. All the cards, the display cards, inventory. Like I said, many tubs that are just taking up space. Um, this is some linens, tablecloths for craft shows, the director chair. I've Shown many of you, you know, you could probably list everything that I own. A couple folding tables right here. The loosey-goosey wood. I don't know what's in here. I forget. Oh yeah, more wood. That's a good place for it. So this will probably take me another hour to clear out. I'll be putting most of this in the corner that I just showed you. And then... I've got to get somebody over here to move the shed. And I'm thinking it'll go back here maybe. And this I'm gonna use for right now for the lawnmower, maybe a, like electrical cord, hose, uh, trimmer, just a few randoms, you know, that I need to for upkeep here. And of course, Upcoming, I'll be showing you as I get started on the actual driveway, landscaping, lots of surprises. Keep watching. Look at that. These little containers that I just keep moving around are going to be beneficial to put all these loosey-goosey inspiration keepsake boxes, guys. Yeah, comes with the Say It, Display It cards, if you like. So, I don't know. We're getting it down to about, what, eight more loads onto the porch? Not bad. Seeing the light of day here. I'd say I'm about an hour and a half into this. It's after 11, but I've taken a couple breaks. So we're down to the last of... I don't know, miscellaneous bedding. I think that's what that is too. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave these couple tables, the director chair, poles for display, and my, these were uh, mandatory to come with the house. These are hurricane panels. And I just might leave these couple things here until I get someone over here to move the shed. And thinking about moving it back here, like maybe right in that middle where that 
big branches. I'm not sure. You guys have an opinion where I should move the baby shed? Baby bear? Hmm. This area is going to be landscaped, so I don't have this area. Preview of coming attraction. I moved my this big old table out of the three-in-one room. <laughs> I decided it was just not a place where I wanted to work. So, yeah, we should be done here in about a half an hour. Let me show you what's going on on the porch. I'm actually able to pick up three at a time of these. They're pretty dang heavy, though. And just stack them here so that I could come inside. And this is all miscellaneous. I hate to say this, but I may go get some containers to contain all of this but I'm definitely gonna go through it with a fine tooth comb and an open mind to get rid of. <sighs> yep, even some cute stuffed animals. You know, I wanted to give the grandkids these and it just never happened. I don't know. I also kept them for my own. There are happy memories from different times. I don't know. If I'm not gonna display them, I need to give them to somebody. Maybe a little nursery, you know? And uh, here's the boxes, the keepsake wood boxes. I'd say I probably have 100, 150 left to sell. I'm not gonna order any more at this time after those are all gone. Hopefully with Christmas shows and maybe if I do a big show in Arizona, they'll all go bye-byes. Along with if you wanna order one with some cards, that would be awesome, say it displayit.com. I just mailed out an order recently, so I appreciate your support. And then right here is the Christmas stuff, and I'm going to put the cards that I just showed you, that stack. I'm going to put those right here and just wait for the new shed to arrive, as there's no rearranging of inventory. Uh, can we say empty? We're almost empty. This is the stuff I told you I was going to leave in here. Plus, this is a blow-up mattress, and it's super heavy. It sits about two feet off the ground, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Probably keep it because I've got future plans. And let me show you on the porch now. I'm pretty stoked here. Got a lot of work to do. There you have it. I still have my porch. This is stuff to go through, memorabilia. I'm down to this much memorabilia right here besides my albums, not too bad. This is the wood. We've got display stuff I wanna go through. And this is bedding stuff, nice and organized. Holiday stuff, product stuff all the way to the bottom there. There's lights on top for shows and a Christmas tree. And then we've got over here in the corner, the wood pieces that I'm going to be doing some creative stuff with. The black shelf that'll go nicely into the new shed. And some empties, a little bit more miscellaneous here. Not too bad. There you have it, guys. I still have my sitting place, two sitting places, whether I want to rock and watch the world go by or if I want to put my tennis shoes on and go out on a walk here. Woo. It's just about four hours later. I'd say if I kept at this with no breaks, probably two, two and a half hours. Yeah, I did some arranging inside my closet, inside the cottage, and I'm really stoked because now, while I wait for the shed to get here, I can go through things and not feel like I'm just transferring from one shed to the other, because that would be the temptation. Get a new shed, 
it's twice the size. It's going to be a 10 by 12. This was a four by six. It has eight feet walls. You know, I could literally just move everything and still have a place to dance in there. But now I'm going to be like, okay, Linda, it is really time to go even further. The thought crossed my mind, do I really need a shed? <sighs> yeah, it, it did. It crossed my mind because once I make, make up my my stuff. Oh, a hearse just went by. That's not good. Um, once I make up my crafts, you know, and sell out of all my product, I could eliminate all my Christmas stuff and I could call it a day. Um, but I'm going to get this because it's an investment for the house, for the cottage, and it also could be a workspace. You know, instead of working in the house, I could go out to my little shed and you know, do a little something out there. So it's all good. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, trying to, you know, just keep up with things. And this feels really good that I'm not going to transfer, but I'm going to eliminate, organize, get some new tubs so I have nothing loosey goosey sitting around. Take time to make nice labels of what everything is. And, um, yeah, and then I'll just leisurely, after the shed is here, take things in and get everything set up. All right, guys. As always, blessings in your day and joy in all your projects and joy in your journey. I love you.